Well, hello, welcome to our continuing devotional through 2 Thessalonians. We're in a chapter now that deals with end time events and the particular focus in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and the parts we're reading now are on the Antichrist, who's also called the man of sin or the man of lawlessness. So let's pick up that description of his activity, his character, and so forth, starting in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 5 where it says this, do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And you know what is restraining him, the man of lawlessness, now, so that he may be revealed in his time? For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains it will do so until he is out of the way. So he says, you know, we've had this discussion before. You know what I told you before. He's referring to earlier teachings that he gave them personally. We don't have access to those but we can kind of read between the lines and figure out what he told them. And then he says, listen, you know what is restraining the man of lawlessness, the, the appearance of the Antichrist. You know what is restraining him. Now, here's the thing, though. Whatever they were told, we are not told specifically what is restraining the full onslaught of evil and Antichrist now. And there have been many answers. Some people would say the church. The church is called to be salt and light, and when we're raptured away, evil will be fully manifest and the Antichrist will make his appearance. I think that's a pretty good answer. I don't know if it's the right one, but it's a pretty good one that fits the scripture. Other people think it's referring to angelic beings with kind of holding back the Antichrist like you see in the book of Daniel in this spiritual warfare. Some people think it refers to government and that as soon as anarchy rules and government powers are taken away, the lawless one will rule. Uh, we're not given enough detail, but if I had to choose one, I would say it refers to the church or the Holy Spirit. And when the when the church is taken away, or when the Holy Spirit withholds his his restraining influence, then the lawless nun will be revealed, as it says in verse six, in his time. But he will be revealed. It's a person, not just a political entity. It's a person. He will be revealed. Having said that, he says in verse seven that the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. The Antichrist has not arrived yet, but the mystery of the man of lawlessness is already at work. And what that means is, even though he's restrained, his, the spirit, his activities, his, the spiritual realities, these, are, these spiritual forces that govern the Antichrist's future operation, they're already active. The Bible tells us in 1 John that there are already many Antichrists. The, the Antichrist, the final one, the ultimate one, has not appeared yet. But there are already many Antichrists. There are already evil spiritual forces at work. We already see the promotion of immorality, anarchy, blasphemy, false ideas about God. All of that's already present and at work in our world. But the time is coming when it says in verse 7 that, that, that until he, let me read it again. I'll make sure I get this right. Verse 7 says this. The mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains it will do so until he is out of the way. And we've already discussed the options for he, who, who's restraining. Well, ultimately, God is restraining. God is re Evil is currently restrained. It may be hard to believe with the evil we see in the world today. But keep in mind, right now, God is holding back evil from its full onslaught from what man would do outside of God's restraining influence. He's holding it back, and the church acting as salt and light is holding it back. But once that's out of the way, evil will be let loose, and the man of lawlessness will appear, the man of sin will appear, the Antichrist will appear, and people will engage in the most unheard of, unthinkable kind of moral indult immoral indulgence. They will worship the Antichrist. They will believe in a lie. They will give in to the great delusion. There are times coming that you and I cannot imagine. That's what's going to happen when God lifts up his restraining influence. We're thankful right now that as bad as things are, God is not absent. He is restraining evil right now. But the day is going to come where he's going to lift that influence away, that restraining influence away, and evil will become dominant in the world. And I can't even imagine what that's going to be like, but it will make a way for the lawless one, for the Antichrist, to take his seat, to claim to be God, and to be worshipped by the whole world. So I hope you consider these things. Have a blessed day.